You know, even during COVID, there are churches that are thriving, there are churches flat, and there are churches slipping. All of us want to be a church that's thriving. What are some things that are happening in churches that are thriving? While maybe 25 to 50% of the people are showing up in person, what is it a church could do to really energize and build community during this time so that when we come out of this thing, we're bigger, better, and stronger than ever before? Stay tuned to this episode of Church Tips Podcast, and we're going to talk about exactly that. Here we go. Hey friends, it's great to be with you on this episode of Church Tips. I'm with my good friend Ryan Wakefield with Church Marketing University, uh, co-founder yeah. with, with some guys. guys named Dick and Jonathan Hardy, but Dick and Jonathan Hardy have gone down the road and now he's taken Church Marketing University to brand new levels. But I will tell you, I'm really excited to be talking to Ryan today because he has coming up uh, in just a few days here, the uh, Church Marketing Conference yep. that is the first, right? And it's, yep. it's going to be, I mean to tell you, uh, we've had conversation about the kinds of things he's uh, got in the conference, and Jonathan and I are privileged to have one small piece of it, but um, it's going to be a great conference. Just go to leaders.church slash conference, and you can get your free ticket uh, ticket or tickets. Do you yep. need tickets if you have your staff coming or, or how One ticket will cover your entire One team. ticket yep. covers your entire staff. But we want to, uh, we're going to talk to you a little bit about that in this episode, but the, the central piece of what we want to talk about today is while we're in the midst of COVID, and uh, there are people that are upside down, right side out, I've, they, they, and some churches are thriving, yep. and others are really s- struggling. And so uh, Ryan's just, uh, he's right there on the front lines with lots of churches. So I wanted to kind of throw it to you, Ryan, yep. say uh, to the pastors who are watching this or listening to this episode, uh, what are some things that pastors and churches can be doing that helps help move them to thrive even during COVID? Yeah, well, let's go over some really simple tips yeah. uh, on this. So tip number one is as you're thinking about what your church is doing, whether that's your online only, digital only, Facebook, YouTube, think in terms of is our approach creating spectators? or creating participators. Oh, that's good. If your approach is creating spectators, warning signs should be going off because the church was never designed to be a spectator spectator. sport. That's what my mom said. They ever caught me in the balcony uh, as a kid? Like, nope, Wakefields don't sit in the balcony because- Problem child (laughs) right there. So I think without really knowing it, what a lot of churches are doing is they're creating an approach that essentially puts their entire congregation in a digital balcony. Mm. It's like everybody's just- Watching. watching. Yeah. And I would even say a tip on this would be get, get rid of words that connotate spectating. So don't say, hey, welcome. Thanks for watching online. Nope, that's a spectating. Yeah. You want to say thanks for worshiping with us. And again, don't even use the word online. Don't say, hey, welcome to so-and-so church online. You say, Welcome to the Rock Church. We're so glad you're worshiping with With us, us. gathering with us together today. I think a lot of times our language just communicates, oh, if you're not here in person, then you're you're spectating, you're not worshiping with us, and our language is creating spectators, not participators. No, that's good. That's good. I mean, so um, with with a church that you know that is now dealing with this, oh my goodness, I've had to go online, Mm. though those that advice is very, very pertinent to what they're doing as they're moving forward. So what about the the whole issue of the digital content we're creating? Yeah. Uh, can you talk to us a little bit about that? Yeah. And I think one really big mindset thing, uh, it, when you're looking at what your approach is on digital, think to yourself, again, another question to ask, are we creating digital content or are we creating digital community? Because uh, I think a lot of churches, and rightly so, we've we've had the react really quick. Like, okay, we went from having an in-person service, we got the video up. You you did a good job of creating digital content. It's a lot different thing to create digital content than digital community. And I think again, the church was never designed to be a show. The church is designed to be a body, a family. Yeah. So I think you want to move from okay, we got our our content now digital to now. How do we create a thriving digital community? It's a much different conversation. And so in that, uh, yes, it's great. Thumbs up that you moved to digital content. But now the next level, the next uh, tip is let's move that to now a thriving digital community. And how does, I mean, how does the pastor mechanically go through that? I mean, is that a 
I mean, I don't know. Let's start from scratch. Yeah. Well, think about the things that really are true about community that maybe aren't necessarily true about just content. Okay. So community, community is about conversation, engagement, relationships, getting to know people. Uh, you want to think uh, the difference between a Facebook group and a Facebook page. Um, you don't have a, have a community in and around like a Netflix show, right? Like it's one way. That's digital content. Right. Uh, digital community is all about, hey, we're getting to know each other. We're, we're showing up and we're, we're having relationship conversation. And so anything a church can do in and around your, your services or your prayer meetings to make it more uh, more about that community. It's more of a time of gathering together. Everybody's involved. Everybody's participating. People are commenting. Even the way that you do your message isn't just one way content. It is a conversation back and forth with, yeah. with your people. That helps you shift to, no, this is about building community. And when you build a community, what you'll find is people stick. People will be, discipleship happens because of community, community more right. so than just content is helpful. Community is essential. Well, are you recommending then that uh, churches that uh, if they have a staff person can really be driving that kind of a conversation uh, or if they're a smaller church, a volunteer? That, I mean, it, it, you reference, you can't just post something up there and let it sit yep. because that's content. I mean, somebody has to be engaging what's going on with the content. Yeah. And I, my tip would be that needs to be the entire church leadership. Okay. Digital community. Okay. Is not the, just, okay, Joe, not, you're assigned to it. Hey, we got one coordinator yeah. over on that platform okay. and they're good. That undercuts community. Right. That's digital content. Uh, but if you've got a team of uh, seven leaders, all seven of those leaders need to be doing it and, yeah. and they're all engaging. Yeah. I would say all your leadership team of your church is yeah. all on board right. in creating the community, whether that's in person or digital. And so we need to be leading the way. We need to be in the comments. So, pa so Pastor Bill may have uh, done the sermon, done, uh, the worship service, the, but everybody is in there generating activity. Yep. Yeah. Oh, that's good. That's good. Well, what other, what other things should, you know, I, I, what the church that's stuck, COVID has really pounded them. They're having trouble. They're maybe getting... 25, 35% of the people back live with them. Yeah. What are some things they can do that can help them thrive? Well, we're not going to be in this forever, but we're in it now. Yeah. Are there some things you can think of? I, two other mindset things maybe to consider. Number one is do not have the mindset that if a person can't be in person, that they're dead to you. Mm. Like, I feel like there's oh, so many good. churches, yeah. like, unless you can come be in person, you, like, you don't exist. Oh, you're kind of second class citizen. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And you can't do that. And if you're going to have a next step that you're asking your churches to take, give a next step that everybody can take, whether yeah. they have a compromised immune system, they're living with somebody who does, like don't make those people feel secondary. Yeah. Make, that's That again goes back to our language, yeah. how we communicate. People who are gathering digitally are equally worshiping with us as gathering can, online. online. Yeah. So it's a can, mindset. Yeah. Don't allow it to, to say, hey, unless you're unless you're here in person, you're, you're dead to us. Yeah, that's right. So be very, very careful about that. And then secondarily, is make the shift with your volunteers of get them on board, even if it looks different. Okay. So now is not a time for volunteers to take time off. Hey, you might've been running the sound or you might've been in the nursery, which we don't have right now. That doesn't mean like, okay, you're on a four month sabbatical. Right. That means, okay, how can we use the gifts God has given you in this new format in this new way? When you get your leaderships leading, your volunteers making the corner, that's how you get that momentum again. Yeah, and then good. everybody matters, no yeah. whether if they're in digital or in person. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Talk to us a little bit about the conference coming up. Uh, the, the, uh, in the show notes, we've got leaders.church slash conference and uh, the CMU or church marketing conference. Give us a little snapshot of what that's all about. Yeah. So if you're listening to this, you're like, Ryan, that all sounds great. I'm on board. I'm tracking. I just don't know how to now implement that. Yeah. I don't know how to take that and actually flesh that out over the next 12 months. Yeah. That's exactly what the conference is okay. for. Okay. Okay. If you want like, hey, it feels like we're pushing a boulder uphill and I'd rather be pushing this downhill with wind at our back, a, a plan in place, confidence to know that God is with us and we have a good plan. Yeah. And we're going to be start round the corner from, man, we were just surviving to now, man, no, we're thriving. God is at work. We're seeing visitors come digitally and, and in person if you're able to. 
That, that is what the conference is designed to do. Give you encouragement, but also give you the plan and what you need to implement it over the next year to move from just, hey, we were surviving this whole thing to now, no, the kingdom is being built oh, in our yeah. local context. That is so good. I'm, I'm just telling you, friend, this is going to be an outstanding conference. Uh, it's free to you. That you just register at leaders.church slash conference and uh, get, get your ticket for you and the entire team. And uh, Ryan does advocate that the team watch it together. Uh, it starts at 10 o'clock Central Time on Tuesday, the 29th, and ends at 4 o'clock uh, Wednesday uh, Central Time, the 30th. But we're hearing by the grapevine that he's going to come up with all sorts of uh, fun surprise <laughs> stuff. So I don't know. So I'm gonna, I may just tune in for the surprises. I yeah, don't know. Come but the on. content is going to be outstanding. I can't recommend it enough. Leaders.church forward slash conference. Any final parting comments? No, that's it. Thanks okay. for being a part. You guys are doing Absolutely. a session that's going to be incredible yep. on how you develop a leadership team yep. to do this because yep. it's going to take leaders. It takes leaders to do it. And so if they're not in leadership, leaders.church, they need to get in there as soon as possible. I like this guy <laughs> right here. So, hey, thanks very much for watching this uh, or listening to this uh, podcast. And certainly, uh, uh, if you'd be willing to go and rate and review it, uh, we certainly would be honored to have you do that. Subscribe on any of the podcast platforms that uh, you watch or listen to. In the meantime, thanks very much for being with us. Make it a great one today and be blessed. Hey, Jonathan here, real quick before you go. Everything in your ministry rises and falls on your leadership. So investing in your leadership is essential to staying healthy and growing the ministry. And that's why I want to invite you to join us inside the Leaders.Church membership. This online streaming service for pastors gives you access to more than 300 videos plus training material to level up your leadership and improve your ministry skills. If you'd like to do that, I want to invite you to go to leaders.church slash boost. Again, that's leaders.church slash boost. Well, thanks again for joining us on the Church Tips Podcast. We'll look forward to seeing you next time.